We're at Paphos, Cyprus, just outside the house of Dionysus. And if you've ever taken history and thought, well, this is kind of boring, stick around for this because I promise this is going to be really interesting. All right, we've arrived in the house of Dionysus. Let's go check out some of the panels. Okay, so now we're moving up a little bit to the second or third century AD. That's the Roman period. It's in color now. The tiles are more finely cut and there's a little more detail to it. We're looking at a representation of Narcissus. Of course, the man that was deeply in love with himself. Son of a river god and a nymph, admiring his own reflection in the lake water. Now, one of the more interesting things about this myth is that there was a woman that was deeply in love with Narcissus. Of course, that didn't do her a whole lot of good because uh, he was only in love with himself. She was so despondent over this that she stopped eating and eventually wasted away, disappeared in fact. The only thing left was her voice and her name was Echo. And yes, that's where we get the word Echo today. <laughs> 